Good morning, people. I hope you are well. So, it's Monday. Um, it's pretty early. It's just before 8 a.m. right now. And that is just before 5 a.m. back home. I can't remember. I'm not really with it. So, I woke up in an absolute miserable mood for no reason whatsoever. You know them days you just wake up. I was just in such a mood. I look outside. The skies are dull. It's a Monday vibe. And then I spent... This morning, just arguing with myself, like, Cam, what is wrong with you? You are literally so blessed right now. Like, you've dreamt of this for years. Like, two years ago, you'd been sitting on a Tesco till, imagine this. I used to do that. I used to scan the items, imagining training in the gyms out here, imagine being out here. So, I've gave myself some cognitive behavioural therapy this morning, just moaning at myself, like, what is wrong with you? But I think it's fine. Like, some days, you know, you just don't feel as as energised as yourself and there could, there could be reasons for it. Like yesterday, I, genuinely, I think I was on my laptop around 14 hours, which could be that. Could be a bit mentally fatigued. But I've been, I've been, been moaning at myself, arguing with myself. I've got myself feeling good again, Feel, feeling blessed, getting the first cup of coffee in, which will, which will help. But i um, going to get my thoughts together, get myself feeling good and then uh, get ready for the day, but bring you some good vibes soon. Once, once I get myself feeling good, So we've only got three nights left at this place here and then we move to the next apartment which is in JBR. JBR is more like the beach area. So this area is, in the evening I absolutely love it. Uh, this is downtown Dubai. So in the evening you've got all the beautiful lights, the fountain shows, it's so, it's such a good vibe. But in like the day there's like all the traffic down there. There's so much work going on there. I don't know if you can hear it, there's so much work going on. So you wake up and it's so like, whoa, like, it's so in your face, 100 mile an hour. And it, they start the building works just before 7 a.m. over here. So like first thing in the morning, you can just hear like loud, loud noises. So I'm excited to get to JBR. Um, I, I definitely realized I couldn't live in a city. I don't like, don't like the hecticness, I don't like the busy vibe. I prefer like a nice, peace, peaceful vibe. I don't know if you've ever been like Joe New Forest. Um, I think it's Lindhurst it's called in England. It's such a like, it's such a peaceful vibe. It's so chill. And it's made me look forward to visiting somewhere like that. But I fucking, I'm, I love this place. I love the, I love it at night. But in the day, I need something a little bit more, a little bit more chill, you know? I'm inside to get rid of some of the old hecticness. And literally, got a coffee in me, put some music on that I enjoy. And do you remember that song, um, How It Is? Roddy Rich, Young Bane and Chip. I haven't heard it in so long. And then it just come on, I was like, Fucking hell, that is an absolute banger. And straight away, it's got me feeling a little bit better, you know, I'm feeling a bit more energised. But one thing, it's like, it's completely normal not to feel like 100% every single day and just accept that. But the thing you've also got to make sure is on these days, you don't feel like getting after it, you don't feel like ticking those boxes, make it a non-negotiable to tick those boxes. Like, don't think, oh, I'm feeling not 100% myself today, so I'm not gonna eat these foods, I'm gonna eat whatever I want, I'm not gonna go to the gym. Like, it's a non-negotiable. Make sure that when you're on your journey to get whatever the fuck you want, it doesn't matter how you feel, you're gonna tick every single fucking box because when you get yourself feeling normal again, feeling good again, you'll thank yourself so much for putting in that work when you're feeling, feeling a little bit down. Cause one thing that helps me so much if I'm having a day where I just don't feel myself is literally, so what I wanna do is less, like I wanna stay in bed, I wanna scroll TikTok, but doing more helps so much. And whether you like Andrew Tate or not, he, he talks about how speed is the key to unlimited happiness. And listen to this speech, right? Cause it is so true and I, I've took it in, it genuinely has helped me so much. I And I just think that is such a smart outlook because the thing that everyone does when they feel depressed, they feel down is they get into bed, they scroll TikTok, 
they eat food which makes them feel worse. They do all these things that make them feel worse where if you're like, right, today I'm gonna add even more tasks to my list and you just keep moving, keep picking up that momentum, you haven't even got time to think about being down. And I don't think there's no wrong or right way to, like everyone's basically, everyone's different in how they handle their emotions. But for me, I think that helps so much, just a hundred mile an hour. Like I was literally saying it to myself, I was like, oh, maybe I just need a rest day. Like, but I had a rest day yesterday. And I'm like, no, today we are getting the fuck after it. It's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna make today the most productive day I've ever had. I'm gonna smash today. I'm ticking every single fucking box and more. And this is a mindset I really like as well. Take in this bit here. Because of how my mind works, but I also know that speed is a, is a fantastic way to be happy all the time. I'm always, looking forward. I'm always looking forward to something. I wake up every day excited. I'll go do this today. I'll go do this today. I'll go do this today. And I very much live my life in a frame of, no, I have to do this. It's very much a, I get to do this. There's another thing that a lot of people make a mistake with when I talk to them, like, oh, I have to go to work today. Change your language. I get to go to work today. Imagine you had no job. It'd be worse, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't be working. So you get to go to work. Oh, I have to fix the car. At least you have a car. You get to fix your car. Most people don't got one. Oh, I have to go get the kids. You get to go get the kids because you have these beautiful children who love you. Do you understand? People's even their own language is wrong. And it's honestly, it's so fucking true. Like, whether you hate the geezer or not, he drops some very, like, some very decent things. So I'm getting myself excited for the day, you know. It's still early as well. That's the best thing about being up. If you do wake up in a rotten mood, You've got some time to sort of like change, change the way your brain's thinking to get you in that positive outlook for today because I could have easily just gone into the day thinking, right, I just accept it. it's going to be a miserable day, I'll wait for tomorrow. But you know, life's short, I don't want to waste a single day on this planet, so get myself in that, that good vibes, good mood, and then today it's going to be a good fucking day. I haven't got a lighter, and because how low down the thing is, I can't reach it for the candle. So I have to do this. Oh. Oh. But big up my mum, she got me this. It's a good luck candle. Um, it's got like a stone in and something. And apparently like, it just brings you some luck, but it makes you feel good, doesn't it? So thanks for that, mum. Feeling good, feeling good. So gonna do my check-ins, um, get the day started with some check-ins. I'm excited to speak to my clients as well. They always bring the energy and just seeing people you care about, making some good progress. Fucking that's enough to put anyone in a good mood, isn't it? So I know I said like, uh, so I said beforehand how I feel a little bit. I find it hard talking to a camera and stuff. So definitely talking about like a, a deep topic, um, <laughs> it feels even harder and stuff. But I know like if there's uh, any of you like at home suffering with mental health or anything like that, it could be nice for you to sort of have someone to relate to, kind of thing. Um, maybe it might help. But um, yes, yeah, so I've got I've got something called cyclothemia, which is it's like a, a mild bipolar. Um, so you, you experience like your down, your down weeks. It's once every two two months minimum. Like that's the minimum you'll get it. Um, but there's the highs of it as well because you experience these really like high highs. Like you you get really happy. So like it's it's not nothing for me to, to be like feel sorry for or anything like that because I'm genuinely so happy like most of the time and. Beforehand, when I used to have these weeks where I, I felt down or however long it lasted, I used to I used to like really listen to my body and I'd just be like lazy doing all these like down things. And as soon as I felt a little bit down, I think oh it's, it's starting now. Whereas now, like I'm like oh, it could literally just be a down day. And if I feel like I'm a week where it's not going to be me being myself, like instead of me being lazy, I'm like full for all like a hundred percent like so productive so busy ticking every single box but yeah it feels a bit awkward <laughs> sitting there talking about 
all of that kind of stuff. But I feel like it could help um, could help someone at home. But yeah, today's gonna be a good day. So, so people always say to me, "How come you keep your teeth so white despite the fact you drink about seven cups of tea and seven cups of coffee every single day?" And the reason for that. It's because I use Boots Sensitive Toothpaste and if you use the code CAM95, you can get 95% off of this toothpaste and this has been the reason like my teeth just stay white and get that like, glisten. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. So definitely use that. <coughs> oh, I just wanted to make an advert. I'm just bored. I was trying to remember what YouTubers say at the end of their videos, so I started watching a few YouTube videos today and they always bring an ad in like the middle of the video, so I thought I'd bring my own one. But oh, where's that put oh there it is. But yeah. That's my ad. Cam95. Imagine someone actual fucking goes into boots telling them they want Cam95 on it. People actually always do accuse me of having veneers or having my teeth done. But I literally just had braces when I was like how old? I was really old when I had them. I say really old, but like old for braces. I think I was 17. I had like train tracks, like proper. Uh, and the um, reason it was so late is because they kept waiting. I was like, when your baby teeth fall out, that's when you'll get them. And then it would have been like, I'm 17 years old. And they're like, well, your baby teeth still haven't fallen out. That's a bit strange. And then they'd done an x-ray and basically there was no adult teeth underneath. So I've still got quite a few baby teeth. Uh... <laughs> I don't even see it. If you could see that, but basically it looks like I've got no teeth here and here. But just because they're cute little baby teeth. I find that mad, didn't it? They've just been sitting there for years. But yeah, when I was so when I was 17, I hit puberty really late, so was in within like one week, I started getting spots around my chin. I never got them that bad, but just a few cheeky ones. Um I got told I needed glasses and I got braces. So within a week I got spots, glasses and braces. And this is how I was looking. That was within one week. I remember thinking like, what is going on? And genuinely, I looked so clapped for like, solid two years. <laughs> I was like just skinny as fuck as well at the time. Spots, braces, glasses. I mean, I still do need my glasses. But I've got these glasses. So the glasses, I've got my most recent ones because my thing got stronger. Um, I needed stronger glasses. But fucking that Jeffrey Dahmer show come out and everyone started watching it. And my glasses were the same as his. And then everyone started saying, you look like Jeffrey Dahmer. So I stopped wearing them. But the last prescription I got for them, is it prescription the right word? The last time I got my eyes checked was years ago. And they kept saying, like, they're progressively getting worse. And, yeah, that was, like, I think I was probably, like, three years ago. Um, so I need to get my eyes tested again because I, I literally can't see shit. But my thing is, right, so when I walk around, I feel like I can see everything perfectly. So I'm like, yeah, life's good. But I put a pair of glasses on and I'm like, yeah, I couldn't see shit. Like, it makes you realise when you put your glasses on that you're just seeing everything. Do you know what I mean? Watch a YouTube video that's been filmed on like a Nokia and then someone brings out like a big boy camera, like this bad boy here. Um, yeah, so it's like that kind of vibe. So I'm going to get my glasses done and I'm not getting the Jeffrey Dahmer ones. On the topic of glasses, would you rather be deaf or blind? Like for me, easily would rather be deaf than blind. Like shout out all you deaf and blind people, like you're fucking, you're doing well, man, because I'm grateful to be able to, to do both. I wonder if I've got anyone deaf, oh, <laughs> <that's it. laughs> oh, I was about to say, I wonder if I've got anyone blind watching this video or, or listening to the video, should I say. If, if you are, then big up the old deaf and blind community. Shout out for the support. I mean, my videos only get like 100 views, I doubt it. But if they do, big up yourselves. So I'm going to get my third coffee in of the day because I deserve it. It's only been a few hours since I woke up. But I deserve it. It's got me feeling good. I'm feeling great again. I'm ready for the day. Don't know if you can feel the energy's changed. But yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I'm going to train at Train Strength and Fitness today. Um, I haven't been there before. So there's Train Beach Club, Train SF. There's like basically a few different ones. They're a chain, but I've got a membership for all of them. Um, so I'm going to try that one out today. 
Uh, yeah, train, train Beach Club, oh my god, right, some of the machines in there are so sexy, like the contractions I was feeling was unreal, like it genuinely felt amazing and I had probably on Saturday one of the best sessions of my entire life, but I'd done like two, three videos um, of ex video three, two or three exercises and the geezer comes over to me and goes, mate, you can't film in here and I was like, what do you mean? He goes, can't film in here and I go, the only reason I know about this place is because I've watched it on like a thousand YouTube videos and he goes, yeah, yeah, you have to get um, filming permission. And I was like, oh, okay. So I went to reception, I was like, um, so the geezer told me, I need filming permission, do I need filming permission? And then there's like this woman, she was really sweet to be fair, and she was like, uh, I, don't, I don't really know. So I was like, oh, for God's sake, right, no worries, no worries. I just went and got on with my session without filming. But yeah, train SF today, um, hopefully, it's a banging gym, it looks it in videos, I'm excited. You see a lot of big, big people training there. Um, I'm trying to think of their names, but I just forgot every single person's name. Fuck no, this week, change of plan. I'm gonna go to, apparently I've just found out there's one in the mall, which is literally like a 10 minute walk for me. So I'm gonna go there instead of the other one, because the other one's like a 25 minute drive. And the, I looked at the pictures of the one in the mall, it looks really fucking good. So I'm gonna get my coffee down me, head over, and um, yeah, I'll show you a few little highlights or something if they let me film. This is honestly like the hottest day I've had out here. This is a day I said it looked miserable out, but it's so hot. Like. I feel like someone's got a hairdryer in my face and I can't breathe, like, there's no oxygen in the air. It's a strange old heat, but look at that, it doesn't even look, it doesn't even look nice out. I thought it was gonna be a miserable day, but, whew, so weird, honestly, you can't breathe. So I spoke beforehand about how I am, I'm really passionate about like my fragrances, my smells and stuff and in the mall they've got a whole section uh, just for different different fragrances, the, the ouds, Arabian ouds. So I asked my gym sesh, went around trying out all of those and do you know what, I absolutely love the smell of like the proper ouds, I've got some to try. I'm gonna, I like, I like to leave it a little while, like leave it a day See how I smell it the next day, then decide you gotta take anything serious. Um, I even though I went to a few other shops as well, which wasn't part of the like the oud section, went to like Creed and stuff. Uh, tried all the new Creeds, wasn't wasn't really a fan, you know. I feel like they're they're a bit of a one hit wonder. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna get a few ouds to take home because they smell so good. I'm back on now, and I'm sorry I got no training footage. I asked if I can film. And she said, yeah, but only on your phone, not on the camera, which I thought was just strange. Like, I can understand if they said no because they just don't want people on camera. But um, she said, you can on the phone, but not with a camera. So I tried to film on my phone and I looked over the footage and I was like, this is just shit. Like, because I didn't have a trap on my phone, I was just resting it down. So the footage is pretty shit. I thought it's not even worth the video. I'll show you what it's looking like. Like we're talking like these sort of angles, like this. I thought that is, that's not worth me even showing you a lot, so... Sorry about that. Um, but we're back home now. I hit push, chest, shoulders, tries, and you know what, it wasn't a great session to be honest with you. The low cows were definitely kicking in, I felt tired, I felt fatigued, but we got it done, and uh, that's the main thing. Originally this was gonna be like me filming my push day, I was going to give you a few tips, but obviously that couldn't happen. So it's going to turn into a daily vlog. So you get to follow me around all day. So right now, well, I already had my post-workout meal, but um, I was still really hungry. So I'm going for meal number three, which we just got some chicken and vegetables. I'm listening to a new book, which I got recommended. It is called You Are the Placebo by Dr. Joe Dispen Dispenza. And basically, it's meant to be really interesting. It's about studies that have 
I put someone on like a placebo kind of pill and other situations basically just showing how powerful placebos are, showing how we limit our own beliefs and like restrict ourselves and we like live this life. Like basically everything that goes on in your life due to your mind. So it's meant to be interesting. There's even things like um, people taking tablets and like, oh, no, no, there was one study, right? Sorry, I'm going a bit back and forth. And basically it was people who had wrongly been told they've got cancer and ended up dying even though they were wrongly told they had cancer they didn't have the cancer but their mind like was in this state of like where we're dying we've got cancer and then they ended up dying with all the stress that was on their body um and there's like there's a lot of situations like that there's a lot of studies so when i find out some more of the studies they talk about i'll let you know but um it's just to sort of tell you like these beliefs you put in yourself, like my life's this, my life's that, your your body will actually believe it. Yeah, you actually take all of it in, take all that information in, and it will end up being your reality. So everything that goes on in here controls everything outside of here is the gist of the story. So today's gonna be a productive one, and it has been. So done my check-ins, smashed the gym, come back, done some more check-ins, check-ins are all done for the day. Uh, done my 10k steps while listening to the book and the book's actually really good so it's similar to what I was saying earlier about like examples of um, of what the book's about so so far it spoke about cancer patients who were wrongly diagnosed and then in their autopsies it turns out they didn't have cancer but they just had it in their head that they got cancer and they've actually like where they've believed it so much and thought it's happened their body's actually shut down and it had another example about someone who had these pills, which were actually placebo pills, and they didn't know that. Um, they found out that their girlfriend cheated on them or something. So they took all of these placebo pills, um, like sprinted to the hospital. In the hospital, they, their body shut down, or they were passed out and everything. And then the doctor had to look what pills they were, found out they were placebo. And like, when the geezer's like drifting back with it, he's like, mate, like, what are you doing? You're not, are they placebo pills? Like, you, you're fine. And the geezer are just fucking, like, just, sweet like back to normal like that so yeah it's, it's actually mad um what like what your belief systems can do i've been trying to keep my eyes open so i'm gonna go and do my 50 minutes of cardio have a shower a little sauna steam room get myself feeling relaxed i need to get some milk as well so i can have another cup of tea yeah then come back chill out have a fucking lovely a lovely chilled evening if you're watching this and you're wanting to be shredded for summer you need to get started now. Like it's June is, I think it's nine weeks. Or it might be eight or nine weeks away. And when I upload this, it'll probably be like six weeks away. So get in the fucking gym now. I'm going to make a video tomorrow just getting you excited for summer. Like I'm going to show you some nice summer reviews. Proper get you in the mood. Get you feeling good. Bring that good energy. But I hope you have a fucking lovely evening. This is the third outfit change of the video. But I didn't want to wear my Arsenal shirt when I was when I was eating because my missus got me it and I always spill my food on me and it looks like a sustainable one um, so I put the, the grey vest on and then I'm going to do my cardio after I thought I don't want to do cardio in the grey vest because that's going to that's going to reveal some big old big old sweat patches so now we're resulted to this black raiders one but I'm going to go grab my milk and uh, yeah if you just think this is fucking boring like these vlog things let me know but obviously today's Today's video plan was um, the, the the chest workout, which didn't go as planned, so he didn't let me film there. So we had to we had to work with it, and this is the dog park, which I said about the skin face. But I'm just filming dogs. Hello, that's a French dream. <laughs> <laughs> New best friend. Yeah, now we're ready to get a fucking cardio done. I'm dreading it to be fair. But you know, get some get some decent music on, a little two step on there, get it done. And even though at the time it's fucking, it's not nice. As soon as you finish it, you thank yourself so much. You feel good after. You get all the endorphins. You feel your fucking abs coming through. And at the moment, I'm looking lean, baby. I'm coming, coming nicely. I'm actually gas to like. I don't want to be one of them YouTubers that are just constantly getting like you know that like fitness um the fitness industry. Obviously, it's just people getting their body out constantly. I try to. Uh, not be one of those guys, but I'm fucking looking sexy at the moment, so I might have to be.
today's video obviously didn't go as planned. Wasn't able to film in the gym, so it's just been a completely like unplanned vlog kind of video. But I hope you've enjoyed it and hope that I've shown that like even on your worst days, the days you really don't feel yourself, the days you really don't feel up for it, you can turn up and you can get it done. Like you just give your all, give your best. It might not be what normally is your best, like it might not be your normal standard, but you can still get it done and tick those boxes and it's like compound, isn't it? Like every single day, just moving that little bit forward. Even if it's like today might just be a tiny bit forward, it's better than me backstepping, uh, backtracking. And we got there, yeah. So thank you for watching the video. I'm gonna go and drink my tea on the balcony. And uh, feeling proud of myself today, you know? When you tick those boxes on days like today, you fucking, it's definitely something to be proud of. But I hope if you're at home watching this, I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're having a nice day. And if you're not having a nice day, you are struggling. Just keep moving forward. Be fucking proud of yourself for moving forward. Keep ticking those boxes and everything's gonna be all right. So let's fucking go.